Uh, today, I'll be going over introductory materials on uh, beacon object files as uh, explained on this website and on this website. So, okay, so let's open a template for beacon object files. So in my case, it's this get domain code <coughs> uh, that was explained on the uh, Cobalt Strike website. So what this does is that it has the ability to call uh, Win32 API functions. And in this case, it's uh, grabbing the domain name uh, that, the compute, that the target computer belongs to, and then it prints it out. And sort of to make it a little more unique to sort of make it our own, let's add our own kind of print statement here. So begin prints and let's print out um, hello okay. have some hello statement gets the domain and then it prints out. Okay, then here we'll use uh, Ming GW to compile it. Uh, dash o is uh, get domain and then get domain code and have to do C for compile as an object. All right, we've compiled it. So let's go to our, our Cobalt Strike. So in our Cobalt Strike, we have a beacon to the target system. So uh, to execute the binary object of uh, the beacon object file that we've just compiled, we can do an inline execute and then the name of our uh, BOF, our boof, and that was get domain. Get uh, domain .o. All right, we run it. Get domain does not exist. Uh, let's see what we named it. Oh, we just called it get domain without the dash row. So let's just get rid of the dot o here. All right, we execute it, right? And then we got our hello message. And then we also got the domain. So that so was sort of a quick example of uh, how to go about using uh, beacon object files. So something a little more interesting is this uh, note thief uh, BOF. So let's, let's uh, test that out. So in this case, let's first open the code. Uh, wrong note thief. All right, so in this case, the way it works is that it uh, tries to find uh, a process that has a, a, a window process that has the uh, identifier notepad. So that's how it finds the notepad application. And after it finds that, it, fi it, it then try uh, it gets a, a handle that. Then it, it uses that handle to then get the edit window of, of that the notepad application. And then once it gets uh, that handle to this other window, which is the edit window of Notepad, it then uh, sends this message to that window that says, "Hey, uh, give me all your text in in, in your uh, in your buffer." And then it and then it copies it to this buffer here that was uh, given some memory space, right? And then finally we we print out uh, what what is in that buffer. So, so basically it's getting all of the content within the notepad application and then it's, it's printing, it, printing it out to us. So that's how it works. Uh, so let's compile it uh, over here. Dash o, no uh, if dot o and then if and then we do the dash c. All right, we've compiled it and then we go back here and we'll set it up and line executes uh notes um, but before we execute it we'll jump to the target and then the target here let's like type some stuff this is for just the ceo do not read um by all stocks right so some message that was uh written here in this notepad application and then we go back here to our beacon and we, we run our um, beacon object file we run it and we're able to read all the contents, right, of, of that notepad application. And that was my demonstration of uh, beacon object files.